All right, I'm about to try to sell this thing. And I've been wanting to uh, figure out why it's difficult to start. Because this runs good. It doesn't seem to have any other issues. It just is hard to start. I mean, I've checked if there's any obstructions on the intake. There was a little bit on the exhaust, but nothing major. I've checked all kinds of things, and I can't seem to figure it out. Battery hooked up to this thing, trying to get it started. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Of it. Let's see if that comes off. Forgot how to drive this thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change this oil and uh, service this thing. I've got everything to do it, and that that was supposed to have been done when I parked it, and of course I didn't do it. Uh, I'm going to change the air filter. There's the new one, and the oil filter because I'm not I'm not getting. I'm not getting it. It's hard to uh, it's hard to start, and it hasn't always been that way. It's been a little difficult to start at times, but it just keeps getting harder and harder. And I'm thinking there's something going on here. Brand new Reman starter. According to that guy. That starter that I had on here was bad, so I guess we'll find out. There we go. It's already drawing blood, dang it. That's a big filter. I don't know if there's enough fuel in this thing or not, but I'm gonna give it a crank and see what happens. <laughs> Exactly like the other starter. So maybe I just put a starter on it for no freaking reason. Okay, kept having the same problem where the tractor wouldn't start. So I found this online it looks very inconspicuous like you wouldn't think this was in this little place but after researching the uh, parts catalog and checking online i finally just started looking in the parts catalog for a valve or regulator and i found this it's they call it a valve regulator and it's not it's a regulator for the fuel system so 
if you look at this o-ring it's shot I have this one I think it's the same size it's not a cat part that's supposed to hold pressure to allow the pressure to get into the injectors and start the engine can you imagine that little tiny o-rings cause me all these problems but if that fixes it at least I figured it out so the plan today is to get this old tractor moved and I'm going to work on it and do things I've never done before okay so here's what I got to do with this thing I'm just going to keep it short got to pull the valve cover got to pull the intake plenum I got to pull the uh, intercooler connection and the intake connection uh, might can leave this here it may not be too in the way but it looks to me like somebody's pulled this crap because look at all this I don't even know where those things go it's like somebody's been in here jacking around with it so hopefully I won't find too much crap in it Okay, I think I got everything out of the way that I needed to in order to get in here and pull this. Alright, it took me a while, but I got it off. This is what I was talking about. See all that oil that's just been splattered up on top of this? I really don't think that's normal. It would be normal if you're driving it around, but uh, just for it to idle or whatever, I'm thinking that's too much oil for that. So I'm hoping that I'm right about this because I've tried everything else and I've got an injector o-ring or two or three that's not working right and who knows maybe somebody took this apart because obviously there's like like this right here is an example I couldn't figure out where this went okay until I got back here and I noticed that somebody didn't put that on and I thought somebody's been in here yeah, for sure. Someone has been in here, so I'm hoping they didn't put some crappy cheap O-rings in this thing. And uh, even if they did, I've got new ones. Have to move you guys. Woo! That was a pain to get off. Let me take everything off just to get this one cover off. Oh, well, now we got to put this thing on top dead center and start pulling stuff. And then, of course, all the heights can be done with a multimeter or a uh, digital caliper. And I can tell you right now, from the looks of it, it's not set. 64.45 millimeter. 
for the injector timing. These aren't set. Uh, that's why I'm thinking somebody got in here and jacked them out with this stuff. Um, because for sure, I mean, I've got space to do it here. This is so far off, 72.54. I think it's plus or minus 0 0.02 or something that you can be. So 72.54 versus 64.45. That is so jacked up. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and put these O-rings on. But I'm almost thinking if I set these, that it would work. But with all this oil splattering all over, it makes me think they might have put O-rings in it at some point and used cheap crap. I'm going to take each one of these off that I can take off uh, when I hit top dead center. But I'm going to build a tool. That tool is going to allow me, once I put it back together and I set the height, that tool is going to allow me to get in there and set... Uh, the uh, synchronization on all these so that will allow me to have it all put back together and then I can synchronize it from there because you can't synchronize it without these hold downs that I don't have I can't find I can't buy top dead center you gotta go around okay on this flywheel there's a hole yeah look there's a hole on that flywheel and there used to be a, probably a bolt in it. Somebody's been in this thing. And we'll see if I can do two things at once. Might have to get Wonder Woman out here to help me. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I knew we were close, but... Alright, that's all I needed. Until I get that put together and I got to do it one more time. But it'll take me a while. Yeah. Alright, let's get to putting it back together. My laser cutter because there's just no high no room above this to use a caliper so this ended up working out really great because it's consistent and perfectly matched all right guys after all that work I'm still getting a no start issue and some funky noise so I'm gonna pull this thing apart again and check all my valve clearances and I've got to check the fuel static fuel uh, setting for the governor I've been on this forum and I've had a few guys actually try to help me with this some guys are not so helpful but uh, I'm hoping with some of that information I can at least figure out if I'm going to need some injectors or not before I bite the bullet because everything kind of seems to be leaning towards injectors.
Nick. Uh, that's probably because I've, uh, I've got the fuel turned up and I have not, it's never done that, so, but it won't start without starting fluid. So I definitely have the fuel adjusted a little too high. Last time I'm gonna try this before I order injectors in. Everything should be set up enough for it to start. I am gonna go ahead and give it some throttle just to see what happens. The wait is over. I finally got some injectors in. Let's check them out. That is a very, very nice looking injector. It's identical.